Uh, hello everybody, welcome to uh, this video, and today I'm going to be doing this inner roll that showed up on the 2017 MIT Integration B, and I'm going to be using the same trick that I used in my last video, where I basically turn this integral into, or I guess this integrand, into another integral, so sort of reverse integration. And then, um, and then apply, uh, or, or just switch the order of integration. So, basically, we look for, or we we make a new parameter. I'll say u, and basically the motivation for this is that I have some weird function, right, evaluated with one parameter. So I have like arc 10x, and then minus the same function evaluated at another parameter. So I have one, I have like one x and two x, right? So that would sort of look like the integral from two to one, and then I would choose a function such that um, I am like I'm integrating, uh, or when I integrate, I get arctangent. So we know that's like 1 over u squared plus 1. If I integrated that uh, du, that would give me an arctangent. But here, whatever our parameter is, so if our parameter is a u, um, then I want the I want the value of of the arctangent, or I guess like the input, to be x times u. So what I have is x u squared plus 1. And then in order to get it in the form that I want, I have to multiply uh, x on the top just so that, say, if I did like a t equals x times u sort of substitution. So x is sort of like a constant in this u integral. So this is a u integral. So x is a constant. And if I, you know, sort of substituted and then integrated, I would get this exact expression. So the arctan x minus arctan 2x. And then I still have this 1 over x dx integral, 0 to infinity. And so basically these, this 1 over x and this x cancel each other out. And I'm left with this. And then I want to switch the order of integration. Um, so now we have the x integral on the inside. Um, <clears throat> and we could do the same trick of multiplying uh, by u and 1 over u. So here in the x integral, the u is a constant. So I can pull it out of that integral. So I get 1 over u. And then this will just integrate as arctangent of x times u. Uh, just like, which is the exact same function we had before. But now our limits are different. We're evaluating from 0 to infinity. And at these special, and these are sort of special points to evaluate at, because 0 times u is just 0, and then inf infinity times u is just infinity. So this is the same regardless of what u is, which makes this equal to pi over 2, because arctangent of pi over 2, or arctangent of infinity is pi over 2, and arctangent of 0 is 0. So uh, that's what this result becomes. And so if we plug that back into the integral, we get the integral from 2 to 1 of 1 over u times pi over 2 du. And now we just have uh, pi over 2. So we, we can pull that out. That's a constant. And now we just have uh, 1 over u. And if we integrate 1 over u, we get the natural log evaluated from one or from 2 to 1, which is the same as evaluating the negative. So if I make a negative here, I can swap the order of integration. There's a negative 1 to 2. And natural log of 1 is 0. 
So this just ends up being negative pi over 2 times the natural log of 2. And that is the answer. So thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in my other videos.